Hello everyone and welcome to another Super Science video with the Mass Dent Regional Library. I'm Ms. Stephanie, one of the librarians here in the Youth Services Department, and today we're going to finish our Simple Machines series of experiments we've been doing all year. And the simple machine that we're going to be doing experiment on today, experiment today is the wheel and axle. And an axle is a rod and it usually stays still, and then there's discs or wheels at the end of each, and when the, you turn the wheels, it moves forward, or it does something else to make it work easier for us. Like, example, a wheelbarrow makes it easier for us to carry things to one place or another than if we just did it ourselves. And we see wheels and axles all around us, and the most common one that we usually see is a car. And we're not going to do a real car today, but we're still going to make a fun little clothespin car. And you don't need too many things for this experiment. You'll need a clothespin, some glue. Elmer's works good. You'll just have to let it dry for a while. You'll need some buttons. You need four of them, pretty big ones too. Um, they usually they work better. A straw. Some twist ties like you find with trash bags, a pair of scissors, and then if you want to decorate yours, you can just use some markers or crowns as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on making our clothespin car. The first thing we do is get your clothespin. Um, as you can see, I decorated mine, but you can just leave it... Um, as it is if you'd like so we'll get that there then we're going to take we have four buttons i'm going to do my orange at the back and my blue for the front and then we're going to take a button and then take one of these twist ties and as you can see you you want to get buttons with pretty big holes in them and you're going to stick the twist tie through one of them so pull it out a bit and then you're going to fold it over like this and then put it back through the other hole and then what you'll do next is pull them together and then you'll twist the ends together to make it secure. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our straw piece. So I'm gonna, you wanna leave some room so don't cut it as long as the twist tie is like maybe leave about an inch or so. So let me cut my piece. Okay. So we got my straw piece. I'm going to slide it on. Okay, actually, I think I need to cut a little more off. So let me do that. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be better. Okay, so then the next step is we'll take our other blue button, and we're going to do the same thing we did to the other side. And then fold it in. Make it go through the other hole. It's a little trickier for the second one, but you might have to do a couple times to get it right, and then twist it together, and you have the front wheel and axle of your car. So get your clothespin out, and the first one is very easy to put on. Just open your clothespin like this, put it over the straw piece until it's in the round portion, and then just let go, and it'll be nice and secure in there. Then we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the blue buttons and these are going to be our back wheels so thread this in all right and then we're going to take the one end of the twist tie and put it into the other button twist it together then we're going to cut another straw piece so leave some room for the twist tie to put back through the button all right and then you're gonna thread the straw over the twist tie. Take your last button, do what you did with the other ones, put it in one hole, and then take the other end and stick it in the second hole. It's, there we go, took me a little bit, but once you get it, you'll twist it together to make it secure. And then you have your next set of wheeled axles, and this will be for the back. Now, as you can see, there's not a place we can you know, easily stick it. We don't have that nice little opening that we did over here. So what we're gonna have to do, we'll have to take some Elmer's glue. Oh, it's about to roll away from me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a decent amount in here. All right. And then we're gonna slide it through until it's as far as you can go. 
And so let me, I need to shove it up a little further. Okay. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to let this dry for at least 30 minutes before you use it. And then you can just use it to like push it. You can um, do lots of different things with it, like um, race it with a friend down ramps. It's just whatever your imagination takes you. So here is your very own clothespin car. All right, and once the glue is dry, you can watch your race car go. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed making your clothespin car. And I'm just gonna share a few books that I found as I was doing some research for this video. The first is Science Comics, Cars, Engines That Move You. And this is, a, it's part of a series, I've been really getting into it lately, Science Comics. And this shows not only the history of the car, but it shows the people behind it, and it shows how cars work and how they help us in our everyday lives. And it's a fun little story, lots of different pictures, cars, pretty quick read, and I would recommend it if you would like to learn more about cars and you like graphic novels. Then for my other one, I have a series, this is Frank Einstein, and the first book in this series is called Frank Einstein and the Antimatter Motor. And we are following a kid genius science, Frank Einstein, and he has invented a artificial intelligence entity called Clink, which is a robot, and they get into a bunch of um, mishaps and adventures together and do all the experiments. The first book in the series, like, he, they create an antimatter motor using the three states of matter, a solid, a liquid, and a gas. And they are planning to win a science fair competition, but hit Frank's classmate and arch nemesis, T. Edison, comes in. And you have to find out who will become victorious. And this is a great series. There's about six or seven in the series right now. And I highly recommend them if you want a fun chapter book read. So thank you again for joining me for this super science video. I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Have a good day. Bye.